I call these little bulletins, Neolithic and Bronze Age news, because the archaeology of those time periods is particularly interesting to a megalith hunter like me. But from time to time, I'm also including news stories related to Earth's distant, distant past, because it's such a fascinating subject. Sources and further reading for today's stories are in the description below. Number one, cattle bones excavated from Neolithic ditch in Ireland. Zoo archaeologists have discovered the bones of around 58 cattle in an enclosure ditch at Kilshane in Ireland. The site is 5,500 years old and was in use at the same time passage tombs were being built. Analysis of the bones shows that the cattle were mostly killed at around two and a half years of age, which means they were slaughtered for meat. However, some were killed later, which means their primary role was milk production or use as draft animals. The finds are unusual since most contemporary sites in Britain and continental Europe have a mix of animal remains, but this faunal assemblage is almost entirely made up of cattle. The researchers suggest that this Neolithic community practiced group feasting. Number two, new figurine discovered in Cattle Hoyuk. The Daily Sabah reports that a five centimeter tall marble figurine has been excavated from the Neolithic settlement of Cattle Hoyuk in Turkey. The settlement is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which dates back to 7000 BCE and is thought to have housed as many as 8000 people. The figurine appears to be of a reclining human. Various similar statuettes have been uncovered from the site in the past. It's not clear if the figurine depicts a male or a female, but those representing the latter have mostly been uncovered from this particular mound since excavations started. Interestingly, embroidery detailing can also be seen depicted on the statuette. Number three, Bronze Age board game found in Oman. Archaeologists have uncovered a stone board game dating back 4,000 years near Ain Bani in Oman. Excavations were carried out in the Kamaira Valley by teams from the University of Warsaw's Polish Centre of Mediterranean Archaeology and Oman's Heritage and Tourism Ministry. The board game was found inside a Bronze Age building and has cup holes which make it similar to others from the same time period, such as one excavated from the Sumerian city of Ur. Settlement of the area dates back as early as the late Neolithic, between 4300 and 4000 BCE. Evidence of copper working and trade were also found at the site. Number four, researchers find evidence for the first domesticated hybrid animals. Life Science reports that a recent study published in Science Advances proves that domesticated horses appeared in Mesopotamia during the Bronze Age before making their way north to the steppe region. Scientists used DNA sequencing to confirm that unusual skeletal remains found at Tel Um El Mara in Syria were actually that of Kungas, and that these were hybrids of a domestic donkey and a wild Hermione. These Kungas are mentioned in ancient texts and are depicted on a Sumerian mosaic called the Standard of Ur. However, up until the DNA study was carried out, it wasn't clear what type of hybrid animal these Kungas were. I've put a link to the live science article as well as the study in Science Advances in the description below. Fossil of ichthyosaur found at the Rutland Water Nature Reserve. This news story is everywhere. I'm sure you've heard it already, but it's too good not to mention it again. Live Science reports that the fossil of a 10 meter long ichthyosaur belonging to the species Temnodontosaurus trigonodon is the largest of its kind to be found in Britain. The sea dragon, as it's being referred to, was alive 180 million years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The species became extinct around 90 million years ago. The fossil was discovered at the Rutland Water Nature Reserve by Joe Davis, who works as a conservation team leader for the Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust. Archaeologists then excavated the site in the autumn of 2021. Research is ongoing and will eventually be published. Number six, excavation reveals more about Bronze Age workshops in Cyprus. During the most recent excavation at the village of Agios Sozomenos in Cyprus, archaeologists uncovered more details of late Bronze Age workshops as well as numerous copper objects, including a pendant. 
War foundations were uncovered and revealed a later remodeling phase. A stone trough, possible remains of a hearth, grinders, mortars, saddle querns, and pottery sheds were also found. Organic remains included an olive pit and animal bones. All the evidence points to these buildings having been utilized as workshops. One section appears to have been for the production of ceramics. The buildings were badly damaged at some point in their later history before being abandoned. That's it. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe to my channel. Take a look at my other videos on the mysterious megalith builders. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, and my website provides information on the places I visit.